Hello, welcome back. I'm Joni. I've been a licensed cosmetologist for 29 years. And thank you so much for joining me. Today what I want to go over is how to touch up when you have just a little bit of roots showing but you don't have time to color. Um, you could do this. I do this as, as part of my makeup. So it's for hair. So what I have is Masters Pastel. These are color chalks for hair. You, I found these on eBay. You can find them anywhere. So let me open this up and I will show you. There's a bunch of different colors. You can do highlights and um, streaks, all that good stuff. So um, what I'm going to do is I have grays right here. And I touched up with the Instant Touch Up Color Stick for hair. Got this at Sally's, get them online, eBay, all that good stuff. So what you do is, let me get a little bit closer to the camera here. Okay, so right here is where I have my grays. So I get this. Because my hair um, has dimension a little bit lighter, it has a little bit of a faded, at this point, uh, violet. I had a little bit of a violet base to it. So you can see it's a little bit warmer here. Uh, so I got this. Some people say with the hair damp, do this. It works fine with me just touching up right there. And then what I do, because this is obviously, to a professional, it looks black and then warmer up here. It's a faded violet base, but you can see I'm warmer over here. To a professional, it doesn't match. It doesn't match because this is this is neutral. I got a little bit warmer, so it doesn't match. So what I'm going to do to get that to blend better is I have my two chalks. I have the violet, and then I have a warm. This is red. I've even done orange. In a hurry, orange will work because you're just doing that slight little in a hurry. To the naked eye, you know, you're not going to notice. People don't notice. But to professional, yes, you're definitely going to know. Um, but professionals get it too so because we're just touching up anybody I work with knows that I'm just touching up so they get it okay so we've got the neutral hair and how you use these chalks you want them even like that and then I'm going to get water just dip it in like that and then I'm going to start with my violet base I just put a little bit right there and then I get the red Oop, got a little bit on the skin but that's okay it's just chalk kind of going up into it just a little bit to continue blending add a little more warmth it's the same principle of mixing color you're mixing colors See that right there? That's blending better. It looks so much better in person, but you get the idea. You, I'm showing technique and how to use these chalks. So I started out, it's like literally mixing my color. I've got my neutral base, I've got my warm and my uh, violet. And you can see it's blending in a lot better. If I cover, cover up a little bit and then pull it behind my ears, I can see a little bit of warm. Yeah, there we go. There. That's blending better. Oh, see some of my skin, but that's okay. When I look in a mirror, not the camera, I'll touch up that skin there, clean that up there. But you can see the technique, how to use these chalks. You've got to um, keep dipping them in water. Keep it the color. It's taking just a little bit longer than I would in front of a mirror because I'm on a camera and I'm trying. There we go. See, when I turn, except for right there, got to get that off the skin. Okay, now, this side I did not do. You can see, definitely neutral. I've got the warmer and then the faded violet base where you can see it's not blending. But, you know, you just tuck that... Sometimes I'm in a hurry. I pull this down a little bit. 
to the naked eye. And then people aren't looking at your hair like this. They're looking at you from here. So they shouldn't be any closer than that. Um, nobody's going to say, aha, uh -huh, it doesn't match. But, and then you look over here. See the light? How it blends in. Right there. And it doesn't look... It looks, well, to me, it looks equally, like, it doesn't look like chalk, stop, hair. It blends. So, that is my tutorial today for the hair chalks and the um, color stick for hair. When you just need a touch-up, this becomes part of my makeup regime. I do this first. Then I do the makeup and get going. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a comment below of any demonstrations you'd like me to demonstrate for you. And please hit the subscribe button below. And I am so grateful you joined me today. And I'll see you on the next video.